This is certainly my favourite Australian film, and uh, so far. And <laughs> I think, um, well, you know, we're in the time of, you know, almost federation, and we're seeing this through um, through a boy who, again, a, a young boy who is p half white and half black, but he doesn't fit in either of the communities. Uh, and he's raised by, a, uh, by the reverend and his wife, and he's taught the white man's manners, but it's all so incredibly claustrophobic for him. And every time he goes to uh, a new employment, what happens to him is he gets cheated, he gets um, lied to, and all these examples of what the white man has brought to this new world are things that ultimately propel Jimmy into becoming the renegade activist that he actually becomes. Jimmy Blacksmith is, is pretty astounding. You know, the direction of the Aboriginal communities in Jimmy Blacksmith is glorious. Fred Skepsy is an absolute genius. Those did, you, did you see this when it first came out in 78? Yes. Yeah, I did. And, um, you know, it, it, it's a product of its time. I think there was a lot of talk then about, you know, the position that the Indigenous people had in our communities and how they were being treated. And uh, I think Fred's film really does, you know, does point us in the right direction about where we were going wrong. Um, we were fueling, and in some cases, we're still fueling antagonism. Mm. At a time where, that Fred made the chant of Jimmy Blacksmith, we had very few people, very few actors from the indigenous world. Uh, Tommy Lewis, the lead, was not an actor. Although he's remarkable in the film. Yes. He is remarkable, but I think that's also credit to the director for the amazing work that he did.